We're back if you can hear us. Yep, I can indeed. Welcome back to the yeah. the show. I'm Hal Sparks. Johnny Million is with us. Um, and you know, um, you know, every time I we start talking about um, uh, the Republican Party, I don't know why, but like my brain just links to talking about losers in general. You know what I mean? Like massive, overwhelming <laughs> losses by losers. You know what I mean? Not the kind of like, you know, that uh, uh, it, that Anna had her meltdown about this week. Not that kind of uh, sour grapesy kind of losers. I mean, full on, brutal, <laughs> obliteration losers. Like uh, Joe Biden beating Donald Trump in the last election. And in every instance, uh, even in Georgia, where the Republicans, for all practical purposes, had every expectation that they could hold on to those seats, blew it, did everything they could do to blow it. And right now, the only fight that they have um, is take everything that's happening because of reality, uh, all of which they have no solution for, and and throw it at Joe Biden's yeah. feet. Uh, we, we, you know, the... Um, Many issues. I mean, we're talking about like baby formula. We're talking about gas prices. Uh, the the concept of inflation, which we, ladies and gentlemen, and I cannot say this loudly enough, do not have right now. We have rising CPI based on supply shock. That's not inflation. Inflation's going up. Is not just the or inflation going up is monetary. That's when there's too much money in the system. And everybody goes, well, I can get all this money for everything. And then the prices start going up because people want to clamor to get the cash that's coming into the system. That's not where we are. We are not. We didn't print a bunch of money during COVID. That's not how it works at all. The, the Fed is buying up treasuries. They're basically incinerating money. There's a liquidity, liquidity process, uh, sorry, crisis in the whole world right now because everyone is trying to get what? U.S. dollars. That's right. Remember the whole story about the, the the petrodollar? How many dead Republican talking points have we watched just wither and die over the last year and a half? And do you think like the the baby food shortage, uh, the baby formula shortage will be any different? I mean, uh, real life happens. Democrats go, well, let's find a solution. That, arms around that. It's insane. Well, it, it's because it it lines up with their allegedly pro-life position. Now, the problem is you've got people like Elise Starfonic, as they're calling her on Twitter, and um, and a couple of like Florida um, re Republicans uh, clamoring that while we're having a shortage of baby formula in the United States, because by the way, a giant plant in Sturgis, uh, Michigan was shut down due to a chronobacter and salmonella outbreak that sickened four, uh, six children, killing two of them. Um, and and an, uh, like oh, an unknown number of kids, you know, getting uh, getting sick, but not knowing that it's related to that, because that's what you always have. You have that spread of kind of sure. four, they know for sure that's what it was, chronobacter, and the two that were killed, the other ones around it, like people may go, my kid is you know, running a fever and getting other stuff. The doctor might diagnose it as flu or whatever, treat it with antibiotics and they might be okay, but they won't link it back. So this factory has been shut down for about two months because the company is basically fighting in the idea that the chronobacter came from there, even though that's where the formula came from and it was, the linkage is there. The FDA is still doing an investigation, but until the investigation is complete and the place is safe, they're not going to allow them to produce baby food because more babies yeah. might die, which is a sensible thing to do. As much as there are 40%. Uh, so this is them hating yes. on regulations in general? That, well, that's the funny part is that they're just saying there's a shortage and that the shortage that somehow they're making about, you know, Biden policy somehow, as opposed to the fact that you don't want our kids dead. Like, it's so strange. But right. in the meantime, the shortage is largely in a very special form. Of, it's for... Um, babies with digestive issues or allergies. So they make a certain amount of this special baby formula that's sold openly on stores. Uh, uh, specialized all stuff, okay. Yes, and it's it's made all at that one Sturgis plant, the main 
version of it. Now, there are other versions of it from other companies, but a lot of uh, people get, you know, if it's working for your kid, you don't want to jump over to another brand or one of the organics or something like that. If you're not, you know, if you're not used to that being available, it makes people very nervous, especially when they have a, a newborn. You know what I mean? That I've been through that. It's an, you know, yeah, you don't want a gassy kid fogging yeah, up the house. That's right. And so um, this particular, there's a couple of these brands that are only made, and some adults use them because of their inability to process amino acids properly and uh, or proteins properly. So they break the amino acids mm -hmm. down, and it's particularly good for their digestive system. So they sell this stuff at big box stores. And so people buy it by the, you know, by the crate, essentially. And yeah. when there's a shortage of it, it's very acute. You can tell. Um, the problem is, horrible. is that the story you're hearing in the news is that there's a shortage of baby formula in general. And while there's, you know, maybe a 20% <laughs> drop in, bless you, 20% drop in available baby formula. I know we got on this. Bless you again. Um, I never snort baby formula before the show. I've told you this. Don't do it. It'll tickle your sinuses. Um, so what's happening is because the specialty ones were start to, were only available at this, you know, made at the Sturgis plant, there was less of it. So people started clamoring for it. And then the story became, there's a shortage of baby formula. And so people started going to the big box stores. And what do you do when you've got a newborn and there's a shortage? You go stock up. And, and no, surprise, surprise, the the, ma the massive shortages, the biggest ones, are in the states with the most preppers. So mm -hmm. the people who buy stuff in giant quantities and, and stack it and store it, whether they're going to use it or not. So, um, uh, and uh, Benny Loco in the chat, please, come on, go on. Um, so... Uh, there, there are, you know, this, this is the issue. This is the, you know, what, what the story of it, the telling of the story led to an even greater shortage because people start hoarding and that limits supply again, where there's no reason for it. There's enough stock for us. Meantime, the, the, uh, DHS, um, encounters, uh, women with newborns and babies, uh, in coming across the border with, uh, on, you know, regular intervals. And while those children are in the care of the U S government, whether they are expelled or they're, they have an asylum claim that is honored or whatever that process is, which takes at least 72 hours, if not a, a couple of weeks, sometimes, um, I don't know if people know this, but if those babies don't get fed, they will die. So the U.S. government and the U.S. taxpayer has to make sure that these kids have baby formula or they will die in our detention facilities, which is, I don't think anything anybody who could call themselves pro-life would actually uh, want. And yet at the same time, there the argument you see on, on uh, the internet about this on the interwebs is... Uh, that we're we're having a shortage for American babies, but the but the Biden administration is sending baby food to these illegals. That's the storyline oh, yeah. that they're pushing. That's and and I I just have I, I got news for all the Republicans out there. That is a terrible talking point. You look awful. No one but your most psychotic, like hyper maggot sociopaths believe that at all and even those folks it wouldn't survive two extra questions yeah you literally can't ask them they're like we should be we've got a shortage for american babies we shouldn't be sending pallets of this to the border which they're not they're sending boxes but a box a pallet who cares and uh we'll get into this in a minute but they posted pictures of it somebody was like a guy in one of these detention facilities who's a MAGA supporter took a picture of the stock that they had of baby formula for the kids there. And, and half of it is, is go-go like apple juice pouches. And the other half is, is go -gurt. And, and then in the middle, there's baby formula. The formula is the thing there's a shortage of. There is no shortage of, of applesauce and go -gurt in the country. Sorry. It does. Th that's not a thing, but these folks are trying to, you know, I think you literally could ask any, even the most virulent QAnon. So what do we do with these women while they're in their, our care? Even if we're just holding them for three days and we put them out, the baby will die in three days if it doesn't get fed. So we just not feed them. 
um, and that and, and I not I, I I would find it hard, hard it would it'd be very difficult for me to imagine even a lot of the psychos I watch on the far reaching uh, you know uh, the 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 pork knuckle of the internet um, that <laughs> I was trying to find a nice way of saying it um, that that clamor about you know there's you know, tunnels with kids being drained for adrenochrome under the White House. The, even that crowd is not going to go, well, yeah, of course, you got to starve them. They're they're from Guatemala. It's, yes, there is a shortage of powdered formula of a specific type. There are shortages of 20% or so of the of regular formula, but we usually overproduce anyways, hence the usual path of the government buying up that stuff and, and making sure we have it on hand for refugees and USAID and all that kind of stuff, which uh, apparently the pro-life crowd um, is uh, sitting at home grinding about the fact that uh, women should have choice over their bodies, especially when it means that they can um, survive a pregnancy so that they might, I don't know, have a baby in the future and live to take care of it. What a crazy notion. Yeah. Um, we got to take a break. We'll be back right after this. I really will get to the Russia story. This we've got We got totally diverted. I will keep me on track, Johnny Million. It's if oh yeah, that that'll work. You had three jobs. Sorry, we'll be back right after this. <laughs>